see somebody in Shanghai say, I'm in an earthquake and my books are all falling down, right? Because that's an impulse that people have. And then I see another guy in, in some other city and I'm able to see that pattern where other people just weren't able to see it because they weren't following enough people or weren't tuned into it. And then I can put that pattern together and retweet it out. That creates a feedback loop among the entire world where they know I'm watching for this kind of information and becoming an expert on it very quickly. Um, and I'm tweeting this out and becoming, uh, building a magazine about the earthquake. And I do that across a broad range of topics that I care about, you know, mostly in the tech industry. So I'm watching what uh, Engadget's saying about the new iPhone coming out. Uh, I'm watching what, you know, uh, Tim O'Reilly's talking about uh, political policy because he's in Washington, D.C. all the time. Uh, you know, I'm watching what Craig Newmark is doing with his company and so on and so forth. And I'm watching thousands of people talk about things. And that makes me um, more informed about what people care about. So when I interviewed somebody like Gary Shapiro, which I just did on stage, I actually am attuned with what the real issues are that normal people care about, or at least people in my group care about. <laughs>